Hey guys, welcome back to the Regal Gentleman YouTube channel, the Regal Gentleman Studio. Today we've got Sully in the chair. How are you, mate? That's a fine head of hair. I know I said that to you already, but I had to say it again, mate. That is a fine head of hair. How long has it took to you grow that? I think just under two years. Wow, yeah, bloody hell, man. Time, but I think now I want to sort of cut it a bit shorter. Okay, that's yeah. cool, man. Yeah, yeah. So you must have the patience of a saint to grow your hair like that, because it's so thick, so curly yeah, yeah. as well. All right, man. So tell me what you're thinking of doing. What's the plan? Um, so I've got a photo. Yeah, think. show me, please, mate. Oh, show me. This. Ah, nice. Yeah, okay, awesome. Sandra. Um, good, good picture that mate. Yeah, I mean, the good thing is you. That, and if his hair color is different, it's probably a little yeah. bit finer than yours. Yeah. But it's a good, it's a good idea. That's a really good yeah. idea. So I think I have the size to be just over the ear. So I'd say put three quarters of the ear covered by hair. Okay, but okay, yes, yeah, sound just yeah, so a little bit longer yeah, on the side. Yeah, yeah, cool man. Yeah, that's sound. Otherwise, pretty similar to that. That's yeah, yeah, that's yeah, of course. It is. Yeah, totally. Yeah. So that shape is actually again, it's a bit shorter at the top. Actually, it, it, it's it's this kind of shape. Okay, yeah. more triangular, if anything. All right. To be honest, at that length, it's fine. If you're happy with that. Let's go with it. And normally I keep it a bit square and stuff, but again, these haircuts, when it's longer, it's really bespoke to you. Okay, as long as we get something similar to that, it's really cool. But as you can see, the fringe is quite long, the back is quite short. You see, yeah. see how short that yeah. little bit is there? So essentially we're cutting it on this kind of triangular angle, yeah. which is cool, because I don't think we've done a triangular shape yet which is quite nice. So um, we can show you how to do that, which is always cool. But we'll, we'll just keep it a bit longer for you because that, that is quite yeah. a short haircut. Believe it or not, that yeah. that's long for me. Yeah. But in general, that is like a medium to short length. But let's just do yours a little bit longer. Okay. All right. Yeah. What about, so we've discussed the ears. What about the neckline? Do you like that kind of length? Because I would I would leave it a bit longer. Just if we're leaving the ears a bit longer, I'd leave the neck a bit yeah, longer. Exactly. If that's all right, yeah. yeah. Just to balance it. And then again, the fringe, that probably comes down to his nose. Yeah, maybe we can make it make the mid, mid of the nose maybe or a little bit. Oh. Okay, yeah, we can, yeah, um, I just think with, I think that haircut balances as it does, right? Yeah. For a reason, because everything is in, in line yeah. with what they want. I think if we're leaving it over the ears a little bit, I'd probably leave it a tad longer at the front, okay, just yeah. to balance it, all sure. right? Um, but yeah, I think okay. that'll look cool, man, yeah, sweet. All right, let's get on you up and uh, get you started. Right, guys, so I have wet this down now. Now, the good thing is, I can see the shape, I can see the curl. You've got lovely hair. I was about to say beautiful hair then, but you've got lovely hair. You've got beautiful hair, mate, let's just admit it. Everyone else will think the same thing. We're going on a longer version of that picture. That's what we agreed, a little bit of a longer version. So he wants like two thirds of the ear covered, okay? So I'm gonna start off with a horseshoe, but I'm gonna take this horseshoe quite high, because again, we're creating this sort of triangular shape it's kind of, it's a haircut we haven't done actually, this kind of triangular shape, which is great because I, I love doing these kind of cuts. They're not, they're not as common, but they're nice, okay? They are really cool, especially when you get the haircuts in that, you know, Sully knows what he wants. He showed me a picture, his hair's gonna work for that. You know, it's, it's a very easy consultation, but I always like to go a bit more in depth because it's always nice for Sully to get an understanding of why we're doing what we're doing. And you guys to get understanding, the whole point of our tutorial channel is that you can understand why we're doing what we do. It's gonna go fairly high up towards the top. Reason being, I'm gonna cut this on this angle. Okay, so as we get to the top, we can start to connect the shorter layers through. We we'll work this really high up. Don't have to worry about the crown, because the crown doesn't come into play. There's still a lot of length going in there, so it's not going to stick up. We need the shorter elements at the back into the longer elements at the front. So imagine we keep more length through the front. We can connect it a bit shorter to the back. Okay, go. Now, let that fall over like that. Okay, because so we're working on the right-hand side. I'm going to take it just before the ear. So let's just look at that. We want to cover that up. So we just want the lobe, really, hanging out. You happy with that? Just about the yeah. lobe hanging out, yeah? Sounds really awful, that, didn't it? The lobe hanging out. <laughs> you know what I mean, though, right? Yeah, you know? like Just the bottom of the ear. Let's, that, that sounds a bit nicer, doesn't it? Looking at taking it to here. Now, don't forget, it's got the wave. It's going to kick up. So I want to cut it to probably about... I want to take. I want to cut it to here. Because in that way, I've got a little bit of movement. If it dries and it isn't short enough, we can cut it a bit shorter. Yeah, I'd rather All be right? longer on the side. Okay, yeah. that's fine. Okay, yeah. so let's aim for the longer side, and then we can pick together how short we go. All right, there we go. Easy done. I'm going to take that much off. Okay, like that. But again, as you look at the angle I'm taking it on, I'm cutting it so my fingers are leaning inwards. Okay, they're pointing it over that way. Now, how I've picked the length here is I'm just picking what I think would work, okay? And don't forget, this isn't the ear, this is the side bend. I see when you leave it longer and you cut it on this angle, it stays quite long, yeah. but the section above it is shorter. Yeah. So it creates that kind of angle. And as we work through the top, we'll cut it like this. That will create that kind of triangular effect. There we go. I'm going to say again, follow the guides. I'm just scooping up the last section. There we go. There's the guides. You can see my fingers angled over. So by doing this, the bottom will stay naturally longer. Again, I think we've got, I think we, when, we, when we cut hair all day, you do forget how much it means to somebody getting a haircut. You know, like as in going so short or going shorter, should we say. Yeah, this will seem short to you, okay? Yeah. Because you've, you know, you're two years out of haircut. I think we do forget, like we just cut it, we brush it up and we get on to the next client, right? And then 
Unfortunately, that is kind of what it is, right? We don't always get the same emotional attachments as you have with it. Yeah. So I, I always try and imagine myself in your shoes, you know, and think, God, this is a big deal for you, right? This is a massive deal. So I want to do it justice as well, you know? Yeah. No, so again, working with you on this, and the good thing is as I'm talking to you, it's also explaining it to the camera as well, because this is kind of what I do with, with everyone anyway, mm -hmm. is it's quite nice that you can feel a bit more relaxed about what we're doing, and we're talking, and we're working together on the length. Yeah, I think it, it makes a big difference when someone is going like yourself, going a bit shorter, you know? There we go. So that same angle. There we go. Following the guide. There we go. You can see my fingers, the angle I'm taking out. That's what I'm doing in my mind. I'm referring back to the picture you showed me. Um, and, you know, if you can do it, you, it's kind of, this is what I'm doing now. So it'd be quite cool if you guys can do that as well, because that's kind of what, you know, you're all literally working along with me then. Same angle again. Is sitting nice now. It's really coming into its own now, this wave, which is nice. And, you know, we can only do so many, so you know, we're just getting as many as we possibly can, just try and fill the days up yeah. and go from there, really. And then, you know, you, you just get a load of nice videos. And the thing is, as well, we were just saying this before, you know, you have like we have so much, like so many different types of styles now than we used to have. Um, we used to have a lot of like, you know, fades, mainly just fades, you know, we used to get a lot of guys coming in for fades, which is nice, don't get me wrong, fades are cool, but it was almost like every haircut was a, was a fade, you know, and whereas now, because people have obviously grown out from lockdown and stuff, it's so not that now, it's like longer hair, you know, and which is really cool, because I love, you can never get bored of doing long hair, because it's such a, di it, it's so different. Um, and I don't get bored doing any haircut really, to be fair, but we get so much variety now than we used to. It's, it's great, it really is. Now, let's pick the length we want to take off. So what are you thinking? So that's, we've left a lot of length down the bottom so we can decide where we go with it. So, are you still thinking you want to? You would, would rather keep some on the ear? Do you want to take it off the ear? What are you thinking? Uh, I think I like on the ear. Like on the ear, yeah. All right, so let's just do it to the bottom of the ear, so it's still covered. Yeah, yeah. cool. It's got a bit of a wave in it, so I'm going to take it to just below. So as it rides up a little bit, we've got room for it to sit in nicely. And we'll do here because I want to frame the face a bit more with the fringe. We'll bring this across and cut it in a bit as well. So I want that to sit like that. What that does it frames the face with the fringe sitting in. And that still sits just covering the ear. Okay? I'll bring this down from the middle and work it around to the right hand side now. Down, look across the back, sorry. Yeah. Um, is it possible to put, you know, like a fur of a collar? Would it be able to sit on the collar? Yeah. Yeah, 100%, yeah, totally, yeah, not a problem at all. That's good length to know. So that, that saves a lot, of time, a lot of time wondering how short to go, yeah. Collar length, so you're looking about here. It's where that neck collar is there, okay, so about, about here. I'm gonna cut this bottom bit nice and straight because the curl is so much more stronger down here than what is on the sides. Around, because again, like that picture, I want to sit nice and soft and flow into the neckline. Bring that down, like so. As you can see, kind of sits like that. Bring this across. Frame the face. Cut it on this angle here, like that. Bring this across. Go. Now, can you see that really starting to take shape? Yeah. Are you happy with that length of the back there? Yeah. Yeah. Great. Sweet. Yeah. Cool. 
Here we go, right now, all we've got to do now is the top. The good thing with this, there isn't much texture in this haircut, it's very much the shape that is cutting, all right? Now, we essentially want to cut it on this same angle, okay? The back is a lot shorter, the front sits in there as well, all right? How far are we going on this on the top? Whatever you like. We, we need the back. We need to connect into whatever's going on the sides. Yeah. But for the fringe, it's entirely up to you. Yeah. I was thinking, do you mind taking my mask Yeah, of course. I could like put it down to just the end of the nose. Yeah. Is that yeah. alright? Of course. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah, down. not a problem at all. Again, because we're keeping the length, you, you know, the shape is kind of cut in, no matter what you want. So we just bespoke the, the final touches. Everything else balances all the way around. So yeah, it's not a problem at all. Let me take a nice section through here. And we cut it to match here, but we do it on this angle as well. So we're using this as our guide so we get to the top. Okay, off. Okay, so it looks quite short, but the back is short. That is the curl that you want. It cuts in. Okay, the crown is the shortest point of the circle. If you look at the pictures, the crown sits in that nice swirl, and everything else gets longer and more layered. So we do now. Take a section either side of the centre, and we do a profile section to use that as our guide from the crown as our guide through the top. And we're cutting it on this angle, working up, okay? There we go, that's about right. Let's cut that. Pull that up. That's still a bit long, let's take a little bit more off. Do you want the longer the better, actually, Dan? Longer the better? Yeah, I mean, yeah, because yeah, yeah, I think it curls up quite a bit. Also, okay, yeah. that's fine, yeah, you, yeah. Are, you sure? are you sure? From past experience. Okay, yeah. that's cool, yeah, that's good. Well, you know your hair better than I do, mate, so that's good to know. Right, so, you take that a little bit out, and there's our guide. We start to angle this in now. There we go. We find our guide, our other guide. There we go. And we connect. Section just off centre, a section through the middle of the last section. Use our guide. And our section's coming from here. Okay, so we have to finish our section with this from the front. Okay. Pick it up. There's our guide. There we go, nothing's coming up. There we go. Cut the guy then. And there we go. How long have you been in the business then, Dan? Quite a long time. In the business? Yeah. Oh, 20 years this year. Oh, long time. It, it is, mate. You've it really is. It, I guess. No, not at all, mate. No, you don't, I don't think you ever do master it, to be honest, mate. I think there's always something that I learn, you know? There's always new things, new techniques. Um, I think if you feel like you've mastered it all, you've, you've kind of, you've, you know, that's the end of it, right? Mm -hmm. You know, there's always something new happening in this industry, and I think if you do feel like you don't want to learn anymore, then, you know, you're, gonna, you're, gonna, you're just going to give up in the end, right? Mm -hmm. So, no. no, not at all. I don't think any of us master it all, mate. I think, that's, I think if you ask any barber, they'll, uh, they'll say the same thing as me, mate, to be honest. Through the sides, through the corners, and I'm going to use a guide underneath, my guide there. And again, look at the angle I'm on. A triangular shape. And as we get to the front, we start to leave a bit more length. So our guy has said so. Okay, we should keep pulling it out. There's our guide. And take off a little bit. And then as he pulls that back, he's got that short curl. And it falls in that kind of angle. All right, we will take a tiny bit more off that fringe. Just to, tie, just to, just to balance it, that's all. All right. So same thing again this side now. Coming through. Matches nicely. There we go. See the angle I'm on? Same angle, a kind of triangular shape. And that back. In time, take this little cut off here. this down and we just make sure it's sitting even at the length that we like so just below what we were talking about before so about there okay just below the mustache longer the better just take our little points off just to be here like so it's still on a triangular shape because the point is still there I want to take them little ends off. Okay. 
we'll do is I'm going to put in some uh, Balmain texturizing salt spray. Okay, I think this is going to be a really nice finish. You see the way that shape's sitting in there now as well, yeah? So spray this in, and again, just work it through with your hands like this, okay? Because I want to create that nice flow, nice wave to it, okay? I mean, the smell is incredible, right? Yeah, it does. <laughs> it does smell amazing. Gets the price matches it. <laughs> well, probably, mate, yeah, <laughs> without a doubt. There we go. Okay, I've got to think, this is where I come back like this. Got all them shorter layers sitting through there. That's fallen back into itself like this. It's brushed back like so. It just falls into itself like that, okay? I'm just going to set the style that I want. Yeah. Fall like that a little bit. Bring that back. And that layer sort of fall quite, jig quite zigzaggy. Like that, okay? Diffuser on. Medium speed, high heat. Set the style. Like this, so I want to stretch the roots out a bit. I just want a nice wave to the hair more than it being a curl. What you do is just run your fingers, let the kind of curl come at the very end. Okay. Pull it out. Your hair will naturally curl anyway, so just pull the hair, like so. And that will just curl up on its own. Yeah, so that is, uh, I mean, based on what you asked me for, you know what I mean? I think it's lovely. Not I think it works really well. We've that covered time. the ears up, we've kept the length in. So we've bespoke it to you, but we've used that as a reference point, which I think is great. So you're going to find this a lot easier to style. A lot of hair come off, but you've still got a longer, medium kind of length anyway. Uh, I think it works great. I'll just show you the back. So that's what you're left with. That kind of shape. So you've still got a lot of the curl in there, a lot of the shape. Yeah? Happy, mate. Thank you very much, man. And again, like we were saying before, it's on that kind of angle, yeah. all right? So you've got the shorter layers through the back that kind of sit with that curl. As it grows out, it grows out in the shape anyway, a little bit longer towards the front, longer than the shape, than the haircut, but that you showed me, but it doesn't matter. It works for what you want. Thanks, man. Have a little play around and see how, you, see how it feels to you as well. How, how does it feel being a lot shorter? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> it's so different. I mean, yeah, that's beautiful. It looks lovely, man. Yeah, Thanks, man. It's about time. Yeah, I think so. But you've you've grown it to get cut into a style. That's the beauty yeah. thing. That's the beautiful thing. Like you know, it's not just about growing your hair. It's about growing it into a style. You know, and get or getting it cut into a style after you've grown it. Yeah. It's hard to grow it into a particular style. Then just keep coming back and getting it cut. Mm -hmm. You've got to go for it and just let it grow. Sometimes. Exactly. There you go, my man. Thank you very much. Yeah.